on in and check this out. This is cool. Yeah, so this is the 3D printer item, and this is the lumber, and this is how it's gonna work. Kind of looks like something off of uh, Darth Vader's uniform, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you have failed me for the last time. This is really neat. Uh, I thought I'd show you this this week because it's a 3D printed item, but it's also for woodworking, for holding, obviously, for holding 90 degree joints like this uh, together and allows you to clamp them up. I also call it the hockey puck. Uh, I can't imagine why I would call it that. But uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description below this week uh, in case you guys want to print one. If you don't have a 3D printer, you might want to just put it on a little SD card, give it to a friend, have him make you one. Now, there's a third choice here. Yeah, third choice. So the other thing you could do is you can also go to a live public library and a lot of them offer 3D printing now. So take a file for this off the internet, run over to the library and knock one of these bad boys out. And it's really just a very inexpensive small item for, as you can see, it slides together like this. But it has flat sides here and here. And then once you put it together to uh, hold your 90, then uh, you can just do that. Put your clamp across here, and we'll just clamp it up, and let's see what we got. Let's see, yep. And just clamp this up like this, I guess, and uh, there you go. We've got, and I like this particular unit, but I'll show you why, is, let's just hold, hold together. You can still drive a brad nail or a screws. You got glue, you know what I mean? It doesn't take up a lot of space. <clears throat> the other thing you can do, if you're trying to fit your 90 together, you could flip it upside down and bring your lumber in. And see how much fun we're ha see how much fun we're having here. All right, you flip it upside down, and you could bring your pieces of lumber in like this, so you can make sure they're coming together. And then again, like that, you say, "Oh, that's perfect." And then just put the clamp on it like this. Knock it around to make sure you mess it up like I just did. Yep, 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 perfect. And then again, you've got, you know, you've got something that'll hold the 90 together while it dries up. Wow. So, it's a gusty gale storm winds or something here in Texas today. Who knew? So, uh, easy, easy build on a 3D printer. Doesn't take much to throw this together now. When you uh, download the file, take a look. You're going to see three STL files. The very first one you don't want. The, you don't want the first one because the uh, first one is the entire thing is like one piece. So it's not going to do you much good. The uh, second and third file are the ones you want to print, which is this piece and this piece. And then once you've printed them, you can put them together. And now you have the little, you know, little clamp. And of course you can store that in a toolbox pretty easily. It won't take up a lot of space. And anytime you're doing, whether it be like uh, this type of uh, work joint or 45s, like I cut here on these two pieces to show you today. And you can put that in and you can clamp it up. So pretty cool, man, pretty cool. Oh, pretty cool. Thank you for watching Coffee and Tools this week. And I just thought I'd throw that out to y'all because I found this on Thingiverse. And there's a few more on there. We're gonna, I'm going to make the other ones as well. But this one here was so unique. It's, it's so small. It's easy. It's portable. So there you go. The hockey puck. It's kind of neat. Okay. The hockey puck that uh, will work for 90s. Hey. So it's a 3D printer. That'll help you do woodworking for those 45 degree joints that you we uh, that we all you know we all love the doing the 45 uh, frame type work okay guys the reason I'm telling you about the file situation if you download and try to run the first file on your 3d printer you will get this you will get a solid hockey puck because there's no way really to separate the two pieces uh, at least on my CR 10 uh, it's welded together there's just it's just not gonna come apart this one here was made in two pieces with the two s TL files that were later on where uh, the download was. So when you get a hold of that, like I said, don't don't bother with the first file unless you need a hockey puck. All right, hey, <laughs> have a good week, guys, and we'll be back with some cool, more cool stuff soon. <laughs>
Copy tools. That was it. Huh.